Yes, yeah, so we are on day three of the daily build series, and today we're on the same network, just an existing FOSS. Uh, cables are already all existing. Um, for this one, though, I'd like to go over splice counts in an existing FOSS and how to push counts through an existing network to build off of that existing infrastructure. So we got all our counts written out here. I know it could look like a fair bit of gibberish there, but I will show you guys how I break it down. So on this map, we are at this location here. This is a splice location. This is a splice location, okay? These are existing already, so they were built years ago. Existing infrastructure. So we know our feed cable is coming up the hill, okay? We're coming up this way to feed this location. Then there's also an existing cable heading this way. Well, there's the detail for that one. Here's the detail on our feed cable, all right? So as we look at this, we see the one cable coming up here and we have a 144 fiber, okay? PSP LT2. So we know it's a loose tube cable and they show us how many meters were placed approximately. And then they're giving us our count. Okay, so with a 144 cable, we know we have 144 fibers, okay? One to 144, simple as that. That's the cable size and how many fibers are within that cable. Now, within design, they're gonna assign it a count based off of how much counts being built off of this original network that's feeding everything, okay? So in this 144 cable, they want to call the count 361 to 420, all right? And then it would be dead 61 to 144. We're coming in here, and this is why this is a little bit highlighted here, to show that we're actually changing this dead count to a new assigned count, okay? But before we get ahead of ourselves, to keep things simple and break this location down for you guys, we know this existing cable is 361 to 420, all right? So that count, that's 60 fibers total. So if we were to look at a, a chart here, we got find 361. You know what, let's pop this off the wall. We'll do this a lot better. Okay, so we got this back. We're looking for count 361 to 420, all right? We jump on here, go through 361. There's 360, oh look, it starts at a new ribbon. So 361. To 420 that's all the way over there so you can count those up one two three four five so we know we're taking five ribbons if you want to come back to the start figure that out one to five come down boom 60 65 or so that's already being used on this cable bringing light up here and then if we look at this existing cable heading towards our new development area that we're pushing count on to this one the designers, for whatever reason, decided that they would put some debt at the start. But basically, this designer, I hate when they do that. It makes it look stupid. 1201 to 1236. It's actually dead 1 to 36, okay, on this cable. So first 36 fibers are dead. Then they start the count. 397 to 420, okay? And then, obviously, the rest is dead 61 to 144. So... We're coming in here and pushing this count on to the dead fibers and they're not gonna be dead anymore. So coming back to this, we know that 361 to 420, five ribbons. Now we can look up 397 to 420. How many is that? Come back to the chart. There's 396, 397, 420, two ribbons, okay? So we automatically know now that on this cable over here, the first three tubes are dead, first 36. Then we're gonna have two tubes, 24 fibers, with the count of 397 to 420. And then the rest of the tubes left in there, 61 to 144 is dead. So we're gonna come in there and change 61 to 115 to actually 577 to 631. We're gonna assign this count to it and splice it on from this cable here coming up to this location where we're at. We're gonna have the count that's already been pushed onto it previously in the other videos, as you guys could have seen um, from the other day, in which we are gonna push this new count onto the dead count and have it run up the street here to another location. So I've written it out here. It just states out, 
here's our existing cables. There's a 144, there's a 144, a 144. This one top one's our feed cable, bringing the light to the location. These other two are distribution. Now, there's only showing the one feed coming in and the one distribution going out, but there is another one that was clearly not documented that heads down this road. But that cable doesn't matter because it's for the future. And so there the whole cable is dead. Dead one to 144. There's just infrastructure waiting on the future. So we wrote it out, make it things simple. 361 to 420, dead 61 to 144. So that's literally as simple as finding that count, figuring out that, oh yeah, it was five ribbons. So we know that on a 144 cable, which is one, to 144 12 ribbons in a row that the first five are being used one to 60 boom it's used okay so you just forget about it so you automatically know that you have seven 12 fiber tubes left in that cable now our new count which we have written out over here coming in after okay so right there 361 to 420, that's the existing stuff. And then boom, our count comes in 577, 631. Dead, 116 to 144 on that cable. So 577 to 631, you can come down here and find that. Do, 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 there it is. 577 to 631, ends in a half of a ribbon. So that is a total of four and a half you call it five though these are just we'll pluck them out after splicing them through and have them sitting in the tray waiting for the future but anyways so we know it's another five okay so we can come back over here we know this is a whole cable 144 our feed we already have one to 60 used with the sign counts now we're looking for another five ribbons so the white red black yellow well, that's just water burn. That's why it should be purple there, but whatever. Um, one to 60 is used. Next five ribbons. So we're going to do 61 to 120. Boom. So it's actually dead 121. Oh, no, they're right. 116, yeah. Okay. So the next five ribbons on that main cable coming into this FOSC will be used and we'll assign the counts. 577 to 631. And then the rest of the cable of that 144... So the last two tubes, well, tube and a half, two tubes and a half, is dead for the future. If they ever want to assign counts to it. So that's our feed cable, okay? Then we have the distribution head note. We automatically know the first three tubes are dead based off of the print. And then it already has the count 397 to 420. The rest of the cable's dead. Well, we're assigning the new count of this right here. Dead, first 36 fibers. Then there's the existing count. And now, instead of it just being dead after, like over here, we've changed it to 577 to 631. Dead, 116 to 144, the remainder of that cable. So yeah, it's just about breaking it down, working it out, how many fibers in the actual cable, what's the counts assigned to it, does it all line up, and or is there mistakes with the design? With this one, for the most part, there's not any mistakes with their counts. Everything's going to run proper. The only thing that I don't like is their 100 and, well, 1201 to 1236. That's doesn't make any sense. It should be just 1 to 36. That's what they really meant there. But good old designers, you know, let it be, let it be. But, yeah, all right. That's just a bit on how to run your guys' counts. Get one of these little charts. They're really helpful i just made this one up i mean you can jump on the patreon if you want to grab that but moving forward i'm going to get this case popped open and we are going to push our count i'll show you guys how to do that actually that'll be it for this count video and breaking counts down but i will be doing a video for this build here based off these counts we will uh have the the next video releasing here we'll show how to get into this existing fosc and uh, find your tubes that you're gonna be splicing, putting new count on, and how to actually splice it through. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one.